Okay, well, she's cussing us out and being rude, and we're not going to talk to her. Hey, about listen, the listen, why don't you sh you tell those people in the background to shut the fuck up? Oh, uh, you shut the fuck up, motherfucker. That's my family, motherfucker. Okay, well, you need to tell you your family. Tell your family hey, to shut the fuck up. Hey, cuz, you shut the fuck up, no, bitch, you, and listen to me. Hey, Come listen. Up. No, you Hold listen. Up, nigga, you listen. Up, hey, 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 hey. Down. Listen, you motherfucker. We will. We'll, you just need to tell your family to shut the fuck up. They're being fucking loud. I'm trying to listen to my sister Daisy. Yeah, bitch ass nigga, but you better watch the fuck out. Stupid motherfucker. Okay, listen, listen. We got off on the wrong foot. I need. Yeah, and you sound like motherfucking engine, bitch. I'm. I sound Asian. No, I say you sound like a fucking prairie nigger. Oh yeah, yeah, that's totally me. Yep, that's that's me. That's I get that a lot. Yeah, you're probably native, right? That's why you're fucking so fucking rude. Yeah, why is your family in the background still going on and on? Tell them to shut the fuck up. Why don't you shut the fuck up, you fucking dumb piece of shit? Why don't you hang up the fucking phone and then you won't have to listen to me, you fucking idiot? Hey, Crip Gang, cuz I don't give a fuck, nigga. Get shot with a four five, bitch. Hey, hey, bloods are better than the Crips, motherfucker. You better watch you out. Fuck it, slob, nigga. 209 stock tone represent, bitch. Oh, fuck you. 510, motherfucker. You fuck ain't, 510, you, bitch. You ain't, you ain't no 209. Two, yeah, I am 209 stock two, tone represent, 209's bitch. a bunch of pussies. Why are you calling from Montana, then? <laughs> Fucking little Montana bitch. You're, 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 you're a Montana... You're a Montana yeah, I'm bitch. Montana, but I'm on my fucking visit, bitch. Yeah, right. <laughs> probably, probably still live at your mom's house, don't you? Bitch, who the fuck is you to talk like that, nigga? You don't even know my mama, bitch. Okay, listen, um, to be honest, you sound kind of cute. You want to hook up? Uh, to be honest, you can suck this fucking fat-ass dick and these fucking fat-ass nice. bullets, bitch. Nice. Nice. I'd love to suck your dick. Yeah, nice, nice, nigga. Yeah. to the snowplow show i'm your host brad and today is march 10th 2020 this show is brought to you by the stunning kruger effect bi ever for life fun society arcade philia and jason b those are a few of the supporters on patreon thanks all of you for supporting the show thanks to the new person who signed up just the tip very clever name there yep it's a good one that clip that I played on the beginning of today's show, that was from Daisy's show back in January. That's been sitting in here since then. I've been meaning to play it. The date on it is January 20th, 2020. If you want to go find Daisy's show from that day and hear the whole thing that I was on, there was a, an original call that led up to that call that I got. That's back when I was still taking Daisy's phone calls on the phone number that she used on her show. I don't do that anymore. And I don't even know if she played that on her show. So maybe that's not from her show exactly. But you can hear the prequel to that call on Daisy's show. Mixler.com slash Daisy's Dungeon, I think is the URL. But it's probably in our Patreon. I'll try to put links in the show notes. If you care, uh, thank you, Spiny Norman. He sent me some things in the mail. He sent me a floor lamp, like an LED floor lamp. And as you're going to hear from today's show, I really like my LEDs. And he also sent me a phone router. He sent me these from my wish list. I've had the floor lamp on there forever now. It's supposed to be for my green screen. So both of those things will actually be kind of useful for the show. So thank you for that, Spiny Norman. I appreciate it. That was nice of you. He said thanks for the years of entertainment. Uh, what else? I don't know. I think that's it. Go to the meetup in April, San Jose. I won't be there. It's going to be fun. Link in the show notes. 
It happens in the second week of February, I guess. Maybe the third week. Somewhere around there. Who knows? Oh, yeah. One last thing. I almost forgot about this. You know, the torrent that I put out, the largest collection of prank calls ever, is doing really great. Here, let's see how many people are on that right now. Looks like there are 31 people seeding the torrent and 13 people downloading it. That's pretty awesome. I've seen up to 60 people on there at a time since I announced it. You can get the prank call torrent by going to worldofprankcalls.com slash torrent or phonelosers.com slash torrent. It's a collection of everybody's pranks, not just mine. You know, there's Madhouse on there and Dwight and another prank call show. Tons of albums, tons of just independent albums from the 90s and stuff. So much good stuff in there. Everybody should download that. But the cool thing about that torrent is that Jason Scott from Internet Archive downloaded it. And he's put it up on the Internet Archive at archive.org. And I'm helping him put up uh, descriptions and photos and stuff like that on it. So it's a little incomplete right now, but we're working on it. And since I put the torrent up, more people have sent me more stuff, you know, more pranks to include in the next torrent, which is awesome. I mean, it sucks because it's not going to be in the 2020 torrent, but maybe if I release another torrent in a couple years, I'll definitely put all the new stuff in there, but I'll be able to put it on archive.org immediately. If you have any independent prank stuff to send to me, you can go ahead and send it to show at snowplowshow.com and maybe I can put that up there, but go to archive.org and search for the prank call media pack. I'll have a link to that in the show notes too if you want to go take a look at it. It's pretty great that that's up on archive.org. That means it's just going to last forever, basically. He took out some of the more commercial stuff, I think. So the torrent might be a little more complete than the archive.org thing. So maybe download the torrent and visit archive.org because each one is going to have things that the other one doesn't have. It's pretty exciting. Okay, let's do some calls. Hello. Hi, Rex. Yeah. Hey, it's Steve Dave. I'm with the city of... We had some trucks driving by your house today, and they were scanning the inside of your house and detected that you're still using CFL bulbs. What? You're you're still using those little curly bulbs, the CFLs, even though LEDs have been out on the market for over five years now? What what do you mean you can scan the house and tell that? What what are you talking about? Well, we're, we're able to, you know, just use this technology to scan your entire house and see that you have cfl bulbs in there and you have well this sounds like oh, bs to me this sounds like what bs uh i think the fact that you're using cfls is bs do you think you could upgrade those to uh, leds as soon as possible that's none of your business oh yes it is no you're uh- you're you're destroying the earth and you're also living you, like a hobo. You're bringing you know, down I'm property values. You. I, you have no business. They're still selling them in the stores. I know so that. Get but off my phone. You know what else they sell in stores? They sell... Uh, I'm glad he hung up because I didn't have a good thing to shame stores with for still selling. That was a close one. I was leaning toward liquor that hobos drink, but I don't know. Mad Dog 2020. Doesn't mean you should buy it. Hello. Hi, Emily. Yes. Hey there, it's Steve Dave from the city of... Uh-huh. Uh, we were driving by your house today, and uh, we scanned your house and noticed that you're still using CFL bulbs. Okay. You know those those curly light bulbs? Uh-huh. Yeah, is there any way you could replace those with LEDs ASAP? Sure. Why is there like why? What's the problem? Uh, it's just that you know they're they're less good for the earth. I know they're better than incandescents, but LEDs are far superior. You get like um, you know, but much better energy savings and everything out of them. It's it's just best okay. if you use LEDs. They're out and they're outside ones. Uh, no, just in, about- inside your house. We're, we're we don't know the layout of your house, so we don't know where exactly. But you have at least three of them inside your house. Oh, okay. We, we scanned okay. from a van outside. Okay. We scanned your you whole... You do that a lot? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we go around. That we just... feels weird. Oh, does it? I, it, it I don't know. It's kind of weird. We're just trying to improve the, the city overall because really the, the type of people that use CFLs are usually drug dealers and hobos and stuff. Okay. So we're, we're just... Okay. You know, you're bringing down property value, values and stuff like okay. that. Okay. Okay. So if you can yep, just... I will... 
Yeah, just locate those CFL bulbs and uh, just just b- like throw them away or break them or something. Okay. Br- break them on Thank your kitchen you. floor. That's there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. Just as, right. as an fu to the old technology. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank that you. that was a joke. Don't break them on your kitchen floor. That's I that's won't. there's like mercury. I will in. not do that. Okay. I will not do that. Okay. okay. But really, right. get rid of those. I mean, stop living like you're poor. Okay. LEDs aren't even that expensive anymore, you know? Okay. All right. So we've got one vote for okay, one vote for go fuck yourself. I think I've gotten everything I can out of this prank, but I'm going to do a couple more to see what happens. Hello? Hello, Rusty? Speaking. Hey there. Uh, this is Steve Dave from the city of... Yes. Uh, we were driving a van past your house today, and we were scanning the inside of your house and noticed that you still have some CFL bulbs in operation there. Okay. We're just going to need you to replace those with incandescents. Where are you seeing these at? Uh, well, I don't know the layout of your house. Uh, you know, our van just kind of detects if there's a CFL bulb in operation. You know, you know what a CFL bulb really? is, right? The little curly ones? Yeah, I thought I had them all replaced, be real truthful. Oh, what'd you replace them with? LEDs. Yeah, okay. I guess that's good enough, too. But yeah, there, there's at least... Better be. it's, that's, the, that's the best you can get is LED. <laughs> well, you know, th- that's your opinion. I think uh, incandescence the way to go. We're just trying to get rid of all the CFLs. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't even... I don't think I have any more of those. Okay, well, no, you definitely do, because uh, our van drove by uh, just yesterday, and it detected at least one in operation inside your house. So you're going to need to check all your fixtures, make you know, find that LA, that that CFL that you've missed, and get rid of it. Okay. How do you dispose okay. of your CFLs? Do you just throw them in the trash? No, they go to Home Depot. Oh, you you recycle them? Yeah. Okay, you're a good man, Rusty. Okay. Those things have mercury in them, you know. You can't be too careful. Right. Okay. All right. That's it, I guess. All I right. mean, the, the the van also detected that you have a TV without a TV license. But we're going to let that slide. We're mainly just concerned with the CFL bulbs. Yeah, why don't you send me a letter? Because I think you're a scammer. What do you mean I'm a scammer? I'm not trying to scam you. What kind of scam would this be? I'm just telling you to replace your bulbs. What, am I like with the the LED light bulb company? Just trying to get everyone to buy our bulbs? I should tell him we detected a tube TV in his house or something. I should tell people I'm with the BBC. So what started this whole thing that I'm doing today is I was just looking over my uh, regular news blog things that I read. And there's this thing on Lifehacker, how to reduce your energy bill with minimal cost and sacrifice. I didn't read the article because it sounds super boring. But the picture on it is a row of incandescent bulbs with a CFL bulb swinging toward them. Which seems a little weird. Why are they bringing CFLs into this at all? What is this, 2005? I think I'm going to use this as show art. I still have the article open. But it reminded me of that guy screaming at me the other day about using CFL bulbs. And I remember one of us was using that as an insult, probably me. I was saying, I I think your whole home's filled up with CFL bulbs because you're a hobo or something like that. I don't even remember. Thanks for calling. You've reached the cell phone of Gina Rao. Okay. So next thing you know, I'm making calls to people and telling them that we're detecting CFL bulbs in their homes. That's basically a big old fuck you to the earth because LEDs are like 25% more efficient. Or is it 50%? I can't remember. This is Andy. Oh, Andy? Hello. Yes. Oh, I thought you said Amy. It says Andrew on here. Anyway, I'm with the city Hi. of... How you doing? Hey, pretty good. Uh, we, we were driving by your house with a van uh, yesterday, and we detected that you still had some CFL bulbs inside your house. Uh, I don't think so. Well, not necessarily in operation, but you still have them in there. You need to get rid of those. Maybe just have them in a box somewhere? Uh, I don't think so. Who is this? You, you know the curly bulbs, right? Yeah. Yeah, CFL bulbs. Uh, you're not really, you know, you shouldn't have those in your house, but... Who is this? 
this is Steve Dave with the city of So what, what do you have like incandescence in there then? Which which department are you in there? I'm I'm in the comptroller's office. So you're not using incandescence, are you? We don't have technology to no, detect I've those. No, I've got LED. I've got I've got LEDs. Oh, okay, all right. I've, I've, and you've got at least I've, one I've, CFL though. Like maybe you forgot. Maybe it's in a bathroom light or somewhere. You know, maybe you just forgot. But you got to get that replaced. It's like a big okay, old. I'll, I'll double check them. Okay. Is I'll it... double check them, but I don't, I don't believe I do. But uh, I'll look. No, it's it's cool. Like um, I I've I've done the same thing. You know, I replaced all mine with with LEDs, and then a couple of years later, I found a a CFL in the bathroom. I felt like such an idiot. Okay. Because you know, I'll it's... check it out. See. Okay, yeah, because, you know, you're using those CFLs. That's just a big old fuck you to the earth. Got to get those out of there. Okay. All right, so I'll hold while you go check. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm at work, Steve. Oh, you're at work, okay. Yeah, I get a, get a job. <laughs> All right, well. All right, I'll check those. I'll check those tonight. Okay, we'll give you a call you're, tomorrow. You're out, there, you're out there with detectors. Detecting CFLs. Oh yeah, we've got some it's high energy equipment. House house. Yeah, yeah, we go by the, each house with the van. They just it detects for uh, several things, uh, you know, violations and stuff. And we're just making sure that you're in compliance with everything. Okay. So everything else looked okay. Oh, oh. You got the correct toaster oh. and the correct toaster. Yeah, there's certain toasters that have uh, heating elements that have lead in them. You know the old ones that use the crystals, the six point five five three six megahertz crystals. I'm not. I'm not aware of that. Okay. Technology. Yep. Well, nobody should be. Those those things are from the fifties. But we've had to shake down some old okay. ladies, you know. Okay. What's your What's your number there? Um. It is. Four two zero. Six, yeah, six nine six nine. And you're you're with the town. Correct. Yeah, in the comp, in, in comptroller's department? the comptroller's office. Comptroller's. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, I'll, I will double check and make sure. Oh, you're all fading out. Switch you're, them out you're, if I find one. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Amy. Thank you. Bye. This is so great. We're raising awareness about the environment. We're helping to save the earth. For every CFL bulb we get rid of, I think, I don't know, a sea turtle lives or something. I don't know how that works. Maybe I should say we discovered some plastic straws inside their drawers in their kitchen. What are you trying to do? Kill everyone? Hello? Richard? Yes? Hey there, this is Steve Day from the city of... Hi. Hi. Uh, I'm calling to let you know, they, they drove a van past your house yesterday. They were scanning the inside of your house, and they found out that you still have an incandescent toaster. Huh? Y your, your toaster, the toaster, I guess, that's in your kitchen, it's an incandescent toaster. You need to replace that with an LED. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, I, I said it pretty clearly. The toaster in your kitchen is incandescent. Okay, I, I, you're, yeah, that, that was kind of a little dick comment there. Who are you again? Uh, this is Steve Dave. I'm with the city of <laughs> They drove by your house city yesterday. Of what? I'm in city the of <laughs> what department? Settle down. I'm in the comptroller's office. Okay, and who drove by my house? Uh, you know, just, we have city workers that drive by in vans and they scan the inside of your house for violations. Scan for violations? Yeah, like if you're using, uh, you know, CFL bulbs or operating a TV without a license, you know, just any any minor infraction. Operating a TV without a license. Right. So what are you talking about? Everything's fine at your house except for the incandescent I'm toaster. I'm aware everything. I don't. I don't know what an incandescent toaster is. Well, you own but one. I can assure you, I don't have an incandescent toaster. Yes, you do. You have an incandescent toaster. You need to read up out on in the internet and go out and buy a new but, one. They're only twenty dollars. Right. It's just send me twenty bucks. No, the, uh, I'm not. 
What the hell? I'm not going to pay for his damn toaster. Hello? Hi, Jeanette. Yes. Hey there, it's Steve Dave with the city of... Uh, yes. Um, we were driving by your house yesterday, you know, in the vans. We were scanning in the inside of your house. And we noticed um, you're still operating an incandescent toaster in there. I don't have a toaster. Well, you have something that's like an incandescent toaster. So, so whatever it is, you're going to have to replace that. Do you have a toaster oven, maybe? That's in no. How do you not have a toaster? Like, how do you make toast? I don't eat bread. Oh, that's I don't eat grain. That's fucking so weird. I don't eat grain. That's fucking weird. I don't have one. Wow, okay. No, it's not weird. It's paleo. Well, it's a little fucking weird, and, and in my opinion. And what were you doing scanning my house? Uh, they just they drive by around they they just drive around in the vans and scan everybody's house and make sure that there's no violations occurring inside like you know using CFL bulbs or anything like that. Maybe they marked you down incorrectly. Maybe do you have CFL bulbs in there? No. Huh. Well, we'll we'll have to um do an a, a rescan. Um, you know, like in the next couple I weeks. I consider if, this an invasion of my privacy that you're coming by my house and scanning it. Okay, well, it's just something I, I really do. I, I don't understand this. It's just something the city does. And look, I understand if you're upset because we caught you, but like if you're lying. No, I, I'm upset because you're coming by my house and scanning my house. And, you know, it's like I feel like I'm in a communist country. What? Oh, come on. Don't be ridiculous. That's why. No, that that would be. No, f- I mean, that's ridiculous that you're scanning my home. Well, we're just scanning for uh, hold on a second violations. You, you that- can talk to my husband. Oh, I don't really want to. Just like hello? just hello. Yes. Hey there. I I don't know why she's so upset. I was just letting her know that if, if you guys do have an incandescent toaster in your house, you need to replace it. If I have what? Uh, in the, you know the old style toaster. Because their uh, energy, they're not very efficient. We don't have we don't have a toaster. We don't have a toaster for years. Okay, like I was telling her, that's pretty weird. But if you guys are lying, and if you do have a toaster, could you just buy the new style? You know, just go out and buy a new one. I, we really don't have a toaster. I haven't had a toaster for a year. We don't have any bread in the house. Okay, well, it's very weird that our scanners would have picked up that you're operating a incandescent Your toaster. Scanners. What kind of scanners? Oh, we drive by with vans and just scan the inside of houses for infractions. You have what? The city drives by in vans uh, every few months or so, and just Is this kind of the city of correct, yeah. So just why you know, would just... you drive by my house and scan my house? Well, it's... scan it with what? Uh, you know, I don't understand the technology. It's just something they scan. It, it like detects CFL bulbs and incandescent toasters and. You know, just things like that. People still using tube TVs. That's not allowed anymore. What's well, not allowed? Uh, you know, those old tube TVs, those big ones. It's not allowed by who? By the city. So the anyway, we can't tell me what kind of TV I have. Oh no, we can tell. The tube TVs give off a certain signature, like a radiation signature. Oh, I'm sure they do. We shouldn't be scanning it, but you cite me the law that says that I, if you can tell me what kind of TV I can own. Oh, well, you go ahead and buy a tube TV. See what happens. Who do you work for? The city of... I'm in the comp right, give me your boss's name. Uh, well, that, that would be Carol. She's She's over in the other office. I can get her. Well, you give me your boss's name, and I'm going to go to the mayor. You guys shouldn't be scanning my house and doing that. And well, if you, it's not like X-rays. Really, it's not like it's going to hurt you. It's just you know, don't be afraid of new technology. I don't really, but you, what I, what I, what I own and what I do in my house really isn't your business. Well, well, it is if you're if you're using the you know in No, toaster. it's not. You, you, we'll get into. Citing the code, you're gonna to have to cite me the government law that says whether I can, you can tell me what kind of TV I can have in my house. Now I realize you can't purchase stuff because they've outlawed it, but they can't pass the law to my knowledge that says that I have to dispose of something. Oh, you can purchase a tube TV. You just can't. Don't be using it inside the city limits. 
Well, then the mayor needs to go because you shite me the ordinance where it says he says I can what kind of TV I can have. Well, I think you need to go if you're stupid enough to use a tube TV. Those things just suck up so much energy. So you're calling me, you're representing the city of and you're calling me stupid. Well, just if you were, I know you say you're not using you're, a tube I TV. I pay your salary, mister. No, you don't. No, no, you're, you're wrong. I don't pay the taxes, pay taxes to the city of yeah, but, you know, we get, like, federal grants and stuff, so some of it comes from that. You don't pay all of my salary. Um, I pay taxes to the federal government. I bet I pay more taxes in a year than you pay get paid in a year. Oh, you don't know how much I get paid. Well, so, what's so your you're, name? You're just bragging about your income now? You're trying to, like, talk down to what's me? What's your like, name? Like, you're a better person because maybe you make a little more money than me? What's your name? R- real nice attitude there, pal. What's your name? This is Steve Dave. What? Steve Dave. Steve? So look, you're just, it sounds name? like you're just someone that wants to argue about nothing. Just buy a new toaster. This is not have to be a big deal. If you make so much damn money, I don't buy own a, a toaster, toaster. And I, I don't care the fact that you're telling me, calling me about telling me what kind of appliances I can or can't have. If you're gonna so b- I want to know what department in the city of... You are. I already told you, and I told your wife. You guys just don't listen very well. You know, for making so much money, you sure don't listen very well. Mister, what department are you in? I'm in the, I'm in the comptroller's office. So you're in the comptroller's department of. If you make so much money, just go out and buy a new toaster. Just quit pretending that you don't have an incandescent toaster in there. What? That's all you have to do. And your name is Steve. You don't have to like make a big deal of this. Just go buy a new toaster. No, I'm go- I'm going to I'm going to make a big deal of this. For what reason? Just because you're bored? Because I don't need people calling me and be insulting me over the phone. Are you Are you hoping to come to like a public meeting and brag about how much money you make? I like. Guess what, everyone at this meeting? I pay me your, your salaries and I make just more give money me than your you name. do. You're in the comptroller's office, and your name is Steve. What's your last name? Steve Dave. Dave? Yeah, D-A-Y-S. D-A-Y-S. That's all yep. I really need. Yep. Oh, you're going to get me fired, aren't you? Because you're a rich person, and no, I'm not, I don't you care. like to get the lower... I, I got an issue with the mayor that this is what they're doing. You have no business tell, calling me and talking to me about what I what I appliances I have in my house or what I'm doing. Sounds like you just want to push your anti bread agenda on everyone else. I'm not. I don't care what anybody else does. Well, they're for, welcome for not to caring. own whatever toaster they have or eat whatever they both, want. Both, I can care less. Both you and I'm your not wife calling them up and telling them what to do. You're just you are going on and on about not eating bread. You're the one that's like, going ew, on. Look and at on. me. Anyway, uh, you know, I have other people to call, so... Why don't you give me the... What's your boss's name? It's Carol. Carol, and what's Carol's last name? Carol Gersperms. I can put her on. Fine, put her on. All right, hold on. All of our representatives are currently busy. Please stay on the line, and your call will be answered by the next available representative. Shut the fuck up. You're a fucking cunt. Shut the fuck up. You're a stupid cunt. Suck my dick. Shut the fuck up. Hello, this is Carol. Can I help you? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, hopefully you guys heard that because I kind of talked over him, but it took him that much of the song to finally decide this isn't real. Yeah, this isn't real. Holy shit. Okay. That was so much fun. Hello? Hi, Mrs. Grant? Yes? It's Steve Dave from the city of... Hi! Uh, hi! Uh, I'm calling to let you know we, um, you know, we have those vans that go around and scan your house for infractions. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, Is yeah. It? What? I didn't know the vans are on my house. Oh, yeah, yeah. They come by every month or so and just scan the inside of your house, you know, in case you're using the wrong kind of light bulbs or whatever. Anyway, we discovered that you're, um, you have a TV in there, but you don't have a TV license. Hang up. Hang so up. you need to come down to the city building and get a TV license. No, we don't. Shut up. There's no TV license in the United States. I'd be a brand new idiot. Sean. Oh. Sh- 
Wow, he knows what a TV license is. That would be a great scam if you could get people to fall for it. Like, if I ever become a scammer, instead of doing prank calls, I'm going to get old ladies to sign up for TV licenses. And I'm going to charge them in pounds. And I'm going to learn how to do a British accent, just for that. Just so I can be a scammer. Hello? Hi, Ashley? Yes. Hey there, it's Steve Dave from the city of... Hi. Hi. Um, our vans were, uh, you know, driving around your neighborhood, scanning all the houses this weekend, and they noticed that you have a TV in operation inside your house. Yes. And you, you're not paying for the TV license to the city, so you're going to need to come to the city building as soon as possible, and you know where you pay your water bill and stuff. Just pay your TV license. Our TV license? I have absolutely no idea what you're even talking about. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a TV license. Uh, in, in, or, in you know, if, if you're going to have a TV in your house, you have to have a TV license. Do you have a color TV or black and white? Oh, it's one, like in one of those old ones with antennas. I got it from my great-grandma. Okay, yeah. Is it color then or black and white? It's black and white. Oh, okay, great. Well, that's cheaper. It's only, um, it's 52 pounds. Which is uh, oh, sixty-five dollars okay. U.S. But I only have pesos. Um, I don't know. Go to go How to. How does that convert? Go go to a fucking bank. I don't know. I I ain't Mexican. Oh okay. You don't like Mexican? No, I don't live in Mexican. So anyway, get that taken care of as soon as you can, please. Okay, I'll definitely do that. All right. Thanks so much, Ashley. Have a good day. <laughs> she caught on really quick. Hello. Hi, Keith. Yes. Hey there, this is uh, Steve Dave from the city of... Yes. Our our vans were, uh, you know, doing your neighborhood this past weekend, and they noticed that you have a TV in operation in your house. Um, who is this again? This is Steve Dave with the city of... Okay, and don't most people have a TV in their house? Well, I don't don't know if I'd say most people these days. But yeah, so you admit that you have a TV in there then? We do. Okay, I'm going to mark that down as... What's this call about? Um, Well, you're not paying for a TV license with the city. You need to apply for... This is a prank phone call. I'm sorry, I'm hanging up now. What do you mean it's a prank phone call? All right, I think no one's going to believe this one. I'm going to have to give up on this. Hello? Hello? Oh, hi, Mrs. Rogers? Uh Uh-huh. Hey there, it's uh, Steve Dave from the city of... Yes? Uh, Our vans were driving through your neighborhood this weekend. Um, They scanned your house and noticed that you have a TV running in there? I have a TV running. Yeah, you have a television in your house that you're using? Yeah. Yeah, you don't have a television license with us, though. Uh, sir, I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. Well, you, no, e- everybody knows this. You have to have a television license in order to watch a television in your house. Well, that's just bullshit. No, it's not, you ma'am. Send the, you, can, you can send the please to my front door then and let me know. No, we're, we're not going to do anything like that. We just need you to comply and pay for your TV license. Just come down to the city building and make your payment. Uh, you're. I have no idea how you even got my phone number. Uh, we're the I city. That you. I don't care who you are. You Man. do not call on my phone, and basically, in my book, bullying me to come and pay. I'm not I bullying you. you. You're you're the one stealing TV service from us. It's not you're, bullying. You're so full of shit. Shit, I'm not stealing nothing. I have never been a thief, and you are an ass. Yeah, but you're you're not paying for your. Hello. Hi, Melanie. Yeah. Hey there, it's Steve Dave with the city of. Yeah. Uh, we we were uh you know our vans were in your neighborhood this past weekend and they scanned your house. Uh, they noticed that you have a TV on inside your house. Okay. Um, is that correct? 
that seems like a weird observation. Well, it's just that you don't. What can I help you with? You're not. This is a really strange phone call. Oh no, it's not a strange call, ma'am. We do this all the time. Uh, you're not paying your TV license to the city. You need. A- TV license? Yeah, you need to come over to the city building and just pay for your TV license. Okay. Uh, it's a, Is it a color TV or black and white? I guess I'll contact the city directly about this because I've lived in the city of for like 13 years and I've never heard of this before in my life. Okay, well, yeah, that's what most people claim that they've never heard of this, but... It's been a thing for quite a while now. It's uh, one hundred ninety-five dollars for a year of a color license. You just need to come into the any city building and pay for it. Okay, thank you. Because you don't want us to come take your TV. Okay. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. Sure, no problem at all. Okay. Bye bye. Have a nice day. Love you. Yeah, I'm gonna stop doing this one. This sounds too much like a scam. They think I'm trying to get money out of them. I googled how much does a TV license cost in the UK. Ah, shit, I forgot to say pounds on that one. It's 154 pounds. Stupid me. Hello? Hi, is this Levette? Yes. Hey, this is uh, Steve Day from the city of... Yes? Yeah, um, our, our vans have been, you know, they drive by every once in a while and scan your house. They've just been noticing that um, you're kind of wasteful with your electricity. Do you think you could turn off lights when you leave a room and maybe don't run your TV all the time? So, we're not doing that? Well, yeah, yeah, you're just, uh, you're running a lot of, you're using up a lot of energy. Seems like, unnecessarily. Um, so, maybe because I have an electric car? Oh, I don't know. No need no need to brag. I'm just okay, saying... But if- no, they're scanning inside your... It's not unnecessarily. <laughs> oh, well, they're, they're just scanning inside your house. They notice you're using a lot of uh, light bulbs and got your television on all the time. I can hear it running right now. No. No. What do you mean, no? I can hear it running in the background. I hear your TV. You, turn you that... can't hear my TV. I'm not even at home. Well, I hear something in the background. I'm at a restaurant. Oh. It's weird. The restaurant you're at sounds just like a TV show. Oh. But, okay, goodbye. Bye. Hello. Hi, Nathan. Yeah. Hey there. Uh, this is Steve Dave from the city of. Yeah. What's up? Um, well, we, our, our vans were driving by uh, your house, you know, just scanning inside of your house, and they noticed you have a lot of lights on inside and you run the TV a lot. What now? You know, our, our vans, they, they come by and scan every couple of days, and they keep noticing that you, you just have a lot of lights on inside your house, and you have the TV running all the time, or maybe a computer or something. Uh, just hoping I you could... might be. A... I don't keep on the lights at night. Well, no, we, we come by in the daytime. We, we rarely scan at night. Okay, well, I'm here all day, so that's probably why they're on. Yeah, but, you know, you're not in every room. Can you just shut off the lights whenever you're not in a room? I do. I'm uh, very careful about leaving lights on. Yeah, not the enough. Light I have on, not enough, the only light that I have on is in the kitchen and the one that's in the uh, in the room where we keep our adopted son's playroom. So oh, and you're, all day, you're, so. you're, you're not in either of those rooms? What room are you talking about? I'm not in any, any of the bedrooms at all. Okay, yeah, you should turn out the room. lights in those rooms because you're wasting electricity. I'm not in the bedroom. Well, you said I'm you not had, in the bedroom. Are you in the kitchen? Yeah, I turn them off when I leave. Okay, yeah, just uh, make sure you do because our, our vans have been noticing that uh, you're leaving lights on when you're not in a room. I think they're wrong, to tell you the truth. Uh, no, I don't think the, the technology doesn't lie. It, it takes a full scan and it can tell what what's on and what's not and what rooms you're in just just try to do better you know we're, you're not in trouble or anything just you don't have to deny it just try to do better uh, i'm not worried one bit trust me about what you guys tell me because i leave the lights on i'm always making sure the lights are off if i can control it myself now my wife lives here too you know i can't tell her to turn the damn wall off if she don't want to fucking turn it off yeah so but she's it's... cooking dinner or she's cooking something and we're here all we're here all day long 
But are, are so you? you can, just, are, hey, I, I tell you what, just kiss my ass. Well, hey, but I can hear your TV running right now. Hello. Hi, I'm Monica. Yeah. Hey there, it's um Steve Dave from the city of. Yeah. Um, our vans were driving by your house yesterday. You know the ones that scan your house. Okay. And they noticed. I, I guess I don't know. I don't know what that is, but you have vehicles that scan a house. Oh yeah, they scan all the houses in the neighborhood. They come by your house every two or three days. They've noticed that you've been leaving your lights on a lot when you're not in the room, and just leaving your TV running all the time. Okay. Um. We were just hoping you could just maybe shut off the lights when you're not in a room. Okay. Maybe don't run your TV all day. Yeah, I don't run it all day unless I'm here or someone's in the house. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know, maybe just like even when people are in the house, maybe just shut it off every once in a while. Read a okay. book or something. We do read a book. So. Well, it seems like. I appreciate yeah, the, but the, we will do. Yeah, the the van's just reporting that every time it drives by, your TV's on and lights are on all over the house. Okay. I didn't know that we were restricted on how much we could have our lights on or what we could watch. Well, you're not restricted necessarily. It's just, uh, you know, it's bad for the earth. You, you want to save the earth and everything. Okay. okay. Can I get your name again? Sure. Who are you? Yeah, it's Steve Dave. I'm with the city of... Steve Day. Yep. I'm in what's, the... In, and what's your position? I'm, uh, I'm in the, in the uh, for enforcement office. Steve Day. Yep. And do you have a fish tank running in there? They can't figure out what this one uh, energy signature is. Okay, I some I'm, sort I of don't compressor. Really appreciate people going around scanning my home. Well, yeah, I don't but, really have to tell you what I have in my home. Okay, but well, no, we're not trying to be okay. nosy. We're not like listening or well, anything. Well, you are, when, but you are when you're asking me, do I have a fish tank? Um, do I have my TV? You are. Yeah, well, we're not. It's like they can't see inside your home. They can just see like the energy okay. signatures and like a heat map, three D image of That's everyone right, in but your I house. I don't appreciate that. I don't appreciate that, Mister Day, at all. That people go around screening my home. Well, it's not you okay. personally. Like it's not. Don't take I know it personally. It's not me. You're doing it to every. Well, I'm going to take it personally when you're personally scanning my home. Okay. Well, no, we scan I, I everyone's home. It's, it's a, I understand that. Where's, I understand. We're trying to help. Well, I appreciate. Well, can I have a phone number? Sure, yeah, it's seven. Is, is that someone yelling in the background, or is that just your TV running like it always is? Excuse me, can you give me your phone number, please? Okay, well, well I didn't. I, is, that, is that someone talking in the background? Are they interrupting you, or is that just I don't, the TV? They're not interrupting me. There's kids, there's people in this home, so there's people talking. Oh, it sounds like I've got an a adult. kid reading a book. I've got a girl that's reading her book. Well, I've got kids doing homework. Turn off the TV so they can concentrate on their Excuse book. Excuse me. Excuse me, there's no TV on right now, and I don't appreciate you talking to me that way. May I have your number? Yeah, someone has a loud voice. It's a... Uh, well, I can hear your voice pretty good. Okay, it's 7-420-6969. And who do, who's your boss? Carol. Who? Carol Gersperms. Carol, spell her last name for me, please. Uh, no, I don't want to. But really? yeah, just well, if you could just... her, What's her last name again? Gersperms. Gersburns. Yep. And you say you work for the city of Fishers under what department? I'm in the enforcement department. Enforcement department. Yep, the scanning and, and enforcement. So scanning. yeah, like you know, I a lot of people so, like to just argue a bunch that uh, it's, over this kind I of stuff. But, but you know what? You're invading my privacy by scanning my house. Well, I'm not doing the scanning. I don't drive the van. I well, just work here in the office. Oh, so I, you're I just, not responsible. So you just make the phone calls, but the person out there you're going to say is responsible. Yeah, Carol, so I think Carol you, assigns all the people to drive around in vans and scan everyone's right, homes in the city. but you're a part of it when you're calling me and telling me that I can't have my TV on. Well, you said that I was scanning your house personally, so. Okay, your department is, sir. So, thanks for the call. You have a great evening. Okay, so you're going to, like, Bye. turn off lights whenever you leave a room then? What do you guys think? Was that a TV in the background, or was that someone just talking? Sound like a TV to me. At least she didn't use the old, I'm in a restaurant excuse, like that other lady trying to pass off her TV as a restaurant. Hello? Hi, Brenda. Yes. Hey there, it's Steve Dave from the city of... Yes. Hey there. Um, we were, uh, you know, we had the vans out this weekend. They scanned your house. They noticed you don't have the most energy efficient refrigerator. 
Okay. How do you know that? Uh, you know, they just they scan the house. It gives kind of gives us back a 3D heat map type thing with a bunch of energy signatures and all that stuff. I don't know how it works, but you're, okay. you you got. I guess you have like an old hobo fridge. Mm, no. Hmm. Well, we have a, we have a refrigerator freezer out in the garage. Oh wow, that's extra wasteful. No, they're saying that both of them, like neither of them, are very energy efficient. Okay, well, so, we've got a Maytag in the house and one outside, and they're both working fine. Yeah, but, you know, they're not very energy efficient. They're kind of wasting a lot of electricity. Do you think you could just turn the turn the knobs down inside them? Like, just turn them down to the minimum? You don't need stuff that cold, do you? I don't know. I have to look at it. Yeah, just turn the knob down. Like, you, you got it all the way up or something, probably. That's why it's eating okay, up so I'll much electricity. It. Okay, I'll and, check it. And and also you're like leaving the lights on when you're not in a room. Running your TV <laughs> all day. How do you and know all... that? Well, no, we're not. We're not even home half the time. Yeah, but when you when the vans do come by and, and you're home, like uh, they can see that you have a bunch of lights on and TVs running. You, mm, you just yeah, need to, I, no, I don't believe that. You need to be Thanks more cons- be more concerned with the earth, ma'am. That's all I'm saying. All right, Brenda says, fuck you to the earth. She's like, I'll be dead soon anyway. Let my kids deal with it. Not my problem. What's great is these people are going to post on social media and just complain a bunch about how the government's telling them how to live. And everyone's probably going to believe them until somebody points out that that's not true. Vans don't go around scanning your house unless you're in the UK. Anyway, I'm done for the day. It's voicemail time. Everybody can just end the show right now. Okay, Norma, settle down. You don't have to listen to the voicemails. Just turn off the show. It's super easy. Jesus fucking Christ. All right. Hey. Coming to you live from the corona capital of the world. We're breaking much boy here. Is it? Uh, Roy, I know we, uh, we talked, uh, I think last year, and I'm sure you remember, like it was yesterday. Uh, about, Probably. you know, you said you were going to do a PLA con in Raleigh or yeah. somewhere in the Tar Heel State. Yeah, so, yeah, you just advertise that you're the corona capital of the world. Are people really going to want to do a meetup there now? You have such an avid, huge, huge fan base over here. Yep, and, they're all going to uh, die. I'm going to you just to hold off a little bit. Let's fight the you know, uh diseases and all kinds of crap to get it out of here. We're going to go ahead and, you know, quarantine the state for a little bit. Good plan. Uh, but uh, not to worry, Roy, we're thinking about the falls. So let's, let's play in PLA Con, Raleigh, North Carolina. Okay. Fall. Sounds 2020. great. 2020. Rupert Rupert I'm sure Corona is going to be all gone by the fall. Everything will be safe by then. Hey, Brad, this is Junior from the Kiss in New York. Hey. Hey, you need to do more of those Homeowners Association episodes. I miss you doing those old episodes, those Homeowners Association Me too. episodes. I haven't had a good HOA list in a while, but I think there's one sitting in my request folder somewhere. Maybe. I can't remember. All right, uh, Brad. Have a good day. I love you. You Show. too. Keep doing what you're doing, all right? Bye. Have a blessed night, too. Bye. Bye. He said he loved me, and then he tried to pretend that he didn't say it. Did you guys hear that? Did you catch that? New York. Yeah, I need I need to let you know. You need to do no, more of those hotel episodes. <laughs> you need to do more of those. You haven't did yeah. those in a while. Okay. I yeah. like your old one. So. Do, do you love me Keep again? Keep doing what you're doing, all right, Brad? All right, bye. Have a good day. Bye. There's two things I haven't done in a while that I need to hey, do. Brad, it's MacDB from 306. Uh, let's keep it short here. Hey. Uh, number one, telephone switches. Uh, the rapper you played at the end of 619, Orby's Bathtub Mess. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's got a bunch of other songs on Spotify. Uh, there's one about sending black page faxes. Uh, I think he yeah. deserves way more than 10 unique listeners a month. Yeah, uh, yeah he two, does. Uh, I really think you should say that wife of yours more often, or even that mother of yours more often. Like like when Michael's mom kicks Roy Jr. and his uh, metal detecting group off your lawn. Like, what a bitch. Like, I don't know. All right. Yeah, Goodbye. No, no kidding. Yeah, I do remember uh, a certain husband reacting really hilariously to the to me saying that wife of yours over and over we're sorry you have reached a voicemail that has been disconnected or is no longer in service oh wow is that a if threat you feel your brief is recording threatening me error, motherfucker check your voicemail box and try again thank you this is a recording 
Cactus, cactus. Great voicemail there. <laughs> Holy shit. Hey, Brad, it's deep in the heart of Texas. Um, hey. I'm actually getting my emotions together, and it's going pretty good. I'm going to therapy and shit. That's hey, I uh, just want to <laughs> just say, just listen to Hobo Soda 228, and uh, the fucking guy <laughs> threatened to rape you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you were in prison Settle down, Jesus Christ <laughs> I think therapy's working a little oh, too dude, well I'm for you I fucking almost crashed all the way over here Holy shit, man I was fucking laughing so goddamn hard, man I hit like three fucking potholes Look, Rape <laughs> is not funny Mr. <laughs> Texas guy Anyways, keep it up, man Holy shit Play some of that, uh, play some of that for the show If you ever play my voicemail, man I'm telling you uh. That shit is fucking hilarious holy shit i don't have time Anyways, to go through and find that call but i highly recommend everybody signing up on patreon.com slash phone losers and listening to hobo Sode number 228 apparently i get threatened with rape in that one and as you know rape is always funny oh hang up the phone this is walter stupid daddy wow. okay <laughs> Yeah, your your kid's so cute. Wasn't that cute, everyone? Hey, I'm just call- I'm calling from the middle of fucking nowhere in Canada, and uh, I was just wondering why uh, you always have to leave a fucking Kenny Loggins CD in the CD player when you're smoking your weed because uh, Kenny Loggins is the lamest motherfucker ever. So, what? Uh, you take that back. Here's what I think is I think that. Uh, you better start leaving Frank Zappa CDs in the CD player, you know, because Frank Zappa's awesome and he's a fucking genius. So yeah, if you don't switch sure to is. Frank Zappa, I'm going to boycott the Snowplow show. You know, I've probably heard a Frank Zappa song at some point in my life, but I'm going to make you never listen to the show again by telling you I've never really listened to Frank Zappa. Not even once. Can't tell you anything about him. Hey, Brad. Phil from Wisconsin. Hey, uh, Phil. So you said a couple times already, you don't, you don't hack uh, mailboxes anymore, you don't hack answering machines, you don't hack, right, where right. you established that, okay. Except on my well, home answering machines, my big answering machine hacking farm in my kitchen. It's okay to hack those, those are mine. I know you used to hang out with a lot of people who did stuff kind of like that. So I was wondering if you'd be open to the idea of sharing some uh, some stories from the good old days, if you will. Uh, old man I know, story I mode here activated. About, about some antics from uh, times gone by, you know? Um, yeah, I don't know. I'd, I'd pay five bucks for that. Anyway, see you Oh, later. what? Bye. I have to put it on a hobo sode? I can't do it here? All right, never mind then. I, I don't really have any good stories. I mean, I did, um, I hacked, what's his face, the... The kid from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, Nunu, gave me his number, and I really want to find that one. I hacked his machine, and I left a hilarious message from Oompa Loompas on it. You know, the actor that played the kid in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. He's an old guy now. And I remember hacking a, a large amount of answering machines in Roy, New Mexico, back when we called up every single number in Roy, New Mexico. And we've had people pick up when I'm in the middle of hacking their answering machine. That's always hilarious. There was a time where we hacked Lindsay Lohan's mom's answering machine, and we heard Lindsay Lohan on there crying because she'd just gotten arrested or something. That was pretty great. What's up, Dick Flappers? This is Dave 504. Tell you that lapping your dick on the phone is not epic. OMG. What? The yeah, it is. You sh- Slapping your dick on the phone's totally you see, epic. Slapping is that light button. I can't even understand what you're saying. Apparently, not a fan of slapping my dick on the phone or hey, other people love. It's doing Steve that. Steve, Dave. Hello. I was just curious because I drive through Albany like occasionally when I drive up to Portland or mm-hmm. I live in Southern Oregon. But uh, I was just wondering if in- anybody ever uh, recognizes you in public over there. Nope. I mean. Albany is kind of small, right? I don't know. It's 50,000. Anyways, have a good day. 50,000 people here. It's not very small. But no, no, I'm, I'm only internet famous. It's not real life famous. I'm just pretend famous. There's a difference. Hey, Roy. Don't be silly. Brad, whatever. Hey. It's Rex in Jerusalem. Hey, just Rex. standing here with my dog taking a dump. Uh, about to uh, pick it up because I'm a good person. Oh, that's good that you're picking up your dump. I was just wondering, uh, you know, you haven't played that song, uh, Going Deeper Underground. See that? That's the dog poop bag you're hearing. 
It's like going deeper underground song. You haven't done any tunnel calls in a while. And, uh, Bill, that was really one of your strong points. And, uh, love to hear it some more so that, you know, I can uh, break out of my depression and okay. finally get a job and be the man I'm supposed to be. Bye. Was that the same guy that called earlier and said I haven't done tunnel calls in a while? And then he said I hadn't done some other kind of call in a while? I said in the last show I'm going to try and do more tunnel calls. I think I just said that, didn't I? Hey, Roy. Hey. It's Drew, an avid longtime listener of the That's podcast. Great. I'm calling you because some kid just hit my car. And he busted the, the headlights. And the, the car's going okay. And I was freaked out because it was leaking a lot of water. But I think that's just the AC. I've just never noticed that. The headlight before. fluid. Um, you want know, a phone number or something? I could give that to you. Uh, I'm having a lovely day, though. I, the I love you. You're going to give it to uh, me? Yeah. I'm okay. glad my car got hit. Please make me feel better. I love Aha, you. I your car that. got hit. That's hilarious. My car has been hit like four times, and it's only three years old now. People love hitting my car. All right, let me pick, like, a really old voicemail. The oldest one there is, even though it's a minute and a half long. That way I don't have to play the whole thing. Hey, Brad, it's Fish Taco. Hey, um, Fish Taco. I'm the guy who fucked up last time. Started crying. Sorry about that. Really embarrassing. It's okay. Thank you for making me fucked feel Fucked up better. this time, too. Um, a minute and a half long voicemail? What the hell? I think, I can, I think I'm ready to try again. So what I wanted to say before is that I love it when you do phone calls where somebody you're working with does something really fucked up and they ask to speak to a manager and then somebody else gets on the phone and says, yeah, you know, I can't punish them because we're kind of seeing each other and she, if, if I uh, do anything, you know, about her, she'll tell my wife. You yeah, remember those calls? I you do. You did them all the time when you were People I do remember. From the pizza place. You know, next time I put Carol on the phone and they demand that Roy get in trouble, I'm going to try to remember to have Carol say, well, I would, but, you know, me and Roy, we're kind of an item. I don't want him to tell my husband that I'm You would cheating. have somebody answer and she'd be rude as fuck. And then they'd say, I want to speak to your manager. And then you would hop on. And yeah, then you yeah would you're, just you're repeating off. yourself now. Oh, I, I know. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah. She's kind of a bitch, but I can't do anything about it because... You know, she'll tell my wife yep, we're yep. fucking around or whatever. Remember that know? time you said this so before? I, I, I love that. You haven't done it in a long time, but I think that now that Carol is a mainstay on the show. Yeah. There's a huge opportunity. We're on the same those. page. Okay. Thanks for the voicemail. That is a good idea. I got to do that with Carol sometime soon. I can't believe I haven't done that already. That's going to do it for today's show. Thanks to the sponsors of today's show. The Stunning Kruger Effect. B.I. Eber for Life. Fun Society Arcade, Philia, and Jason B. Without them, you wouldn't be getting as nearly as many shows as you currently get. So thank you, everybody that supports the show at patreon.com slash phone losers. There's other ways to support the show by going to phone losers.com slash support. Thanks, everybody, for turning a bunch of stupid shit that I do into my full time job. I'm having the best time ever. I really appreciate all the support and everything. I'm going to end today's show with a song called Deeper Underground, even though I haven't done any tunnel calls in forever. But I will be doing tunnel calls very soon. I promise. It's been way too long. You have no right to do what you're doing. Where are you? I'm going to kill you.